you can say, you know, I, this is my first class teaching, but before this, I've been working in the corporate world, so I can actually bring in real experiences, supplement your theoretical knowledge with that. Mm -hmm. um, so I would actually, you know, it's not because I'm anxious, but I like to be kind of start on an honest note and probably tell them that this is my first time teaching, but then you can always bring in positives. Uh, students are nervous about their first day of, of teaching and, and how they're going to be perceived. Um, one of the uh, fears that students have is, are these students going to respect me? Are they going to think that I'm competent? And I try to um, tell the students to get around that notion a little bit and instead focus more on sharing with the students something about themselves to communicate this, this level of realness uh, and, and passion they have about the, about the topic explain what the course is going to be a, about, and then give the students the impression of uh, you know, what you are all about in terms of this course. What are your expectations? What are your standards? Uh, do, you, do you like to have a fun course? Or is this gonna be a really tough course and not, no fun at all? So those types of things on the first day, I think are, are most important. And getting to know students' names, getting to find a little bit about them, I think are important too. But students have all kinds of input in terms of what they've seen instructors do that it's effective on the first day versus ineffective. Well, I'm wondering how many of you guys have ever gone to a first day of class and you get there, you're handed out the syllabus, you glance at the syllabus for a minute, and then the instructor's like, all right, see you in two days, and that's literally all you do the first day. Have you guys ever had that before? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Me too. And I used to love that as an undergrad. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, this is the best class ever. But is that something that you would actually want to do if that was your classroom and you were the instructor? And why or why not? It, it's built in um, to have discretionary days. And so maybe a professor would use that, but I wouldn't uh, um, actually I'd take the time, you know, to diffuse maybe my anxiety by letting my class see more of me. And so, so icebreakers, getting to know, setting the criteria of the class, building the contract, making it relevant, like all that stuff seems like perfect first class day stuff. You know, maybe touching on what the, the coursework is, but mostly sort of setting up rapport and precedent and, you know, connection seems, that seems like your best opportunity to start strong. Mm -hmm. If you're going to teach your first class, um, relax, uh, realize that uh, you don't have to know everything, you don't have to be an expert to be a teacher. Um, teaching is as much of a learning process as it is a conveyor of information process. So don't be afraid to learn alongside your students. Uh, and, and let them know that uh, you have high expectations, that you're going to put everything you have into this class and you expect students to do the same thing.